The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we prepare for this upcoming Sunday with the Sunday readings uh, for this upcoming Sunday, the first Sunday after Christmas, falling on December the 31st this year. The theme for this first Sunday after Christmas is the time has fully come for redemption and purification through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Again, the time has fully come for redemption and purification through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's hear the word of the Lord together and pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The first reading, our Old Testament reading, comes from the prophet Isaiah, the 61st chapter, beginning at verse 10. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself like a priest with a beautiful headdress, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to sprout up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet until her righteousness goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your righteousness and all the kings your glory. And you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our epistle lesson comes from Galatians, the fourth chapter. Verses 4 through 7. When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then an heir through God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our gospel lesson for this first Sunday after Christmas is Luke, the 22nd chapter, verses 22 through 40. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who first opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice, according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the, the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation that you are prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory to your people, Israel. And his father and his mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is appointed for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign that is opposed and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, so that thoughts from many hearts may be revealed. And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years from when she was a virgin, and then as a widow until she was 84. She did not depart from the temple, worshiping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and to speak of him to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. And when they had performed everything according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee 
to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The time has fully come for redemption and purification through Jesus Christ our Lord. When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of the woman, to redeem those, to redeem those who were under the law. Therefore, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. There he was received and taken up into the arms of Simeon, who was righteous and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. Simeon praised God and blessed the parents by confessing the cross for which this child was appointed. At that very hour, old and faithful Anna, who had watched and prayed and worshipped in the temple for so long, came up and began to give thanks to God and to speak of him to all who are waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. The Lord causes righteousness and praise to sprout up before all nations. And we also greatly rejoice in the Lord because this child has clothed us with garments of salvation, covered us with the robe of his righteousness, and has called us by a new name. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of the day. O oh God, our Maker and Redeemer, you wonderfully created us, and in the incarnation of your Son, yet more wondrously restored our human nature. Grant that we may ever be alive in him, who made himself to be like us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We are bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up to you with countenance and give you peace. Amen.